You know what? I'll be completely honest with you guys. Previous videos about the buff and nerfs are just covering what I was finding out at the time. Now that we had all the buff and nerfs, I'm gonna do a revamp of that very same video and cover exactly everything that happens this generation in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So with that in mind, let's hit it off. First and foremost, the major changes. Skull is no longer a well distributed good. Only Volcano will get it. There is no longer um, water move that will have secondary high chance of burning. Also, recovery moves, Roost, Slack Off and whatnot will change their PP from 10 to 5, which is a big deal. Hail will now be replaced by Snowstorm, and the Snowstorm will not boost both defenses as I said in previous video, just defense, much like how Sandstorm boosts special defense. Most Gen 8 mood to the moves like Triple Axel, Portuguese, Guy, Scorching Sands, uh, Grassy Line and whatnot are not widely distributed in this game. However, for example, Saunas get dual wing beat. Keep that in mind. Headlong Rush, which is uh, something from Legends of Valsius, are now a ground based close combat. There are a few other moves like that. Wave Crash is now a new Flare Blitz recall based move, but water based. Raging Fury is a fire based outrage. Chloroblast is now a Steel Beam mind blown clone, but, well, grass <laughs> based. Dark Claw, which by the way is one of the cooler moves in the game, has a 46 chance of inflicting poison, 60% of paralyzation, and 16 chance of sleep. Blinkwit Storm, Windbolt, and Sensor Storm, and Spring Tide Storm are 100 base power move with well, lower accuracy of 85 base. Uh, Trailblaze is a flame charge but grass based. Ice Spinner, which is a new. Ice move is physical at 80 base power and can remove terrains. Axe kick is basically jump kick, so if we're lucky here, it's a 130 base move, um, but it could might as well be 90, but has a chance of causing confuse and also cause recall if missing. Uh, last respects is a physical ghost move for this generation and it gets stronger for each team member that are dead. Basically, it's 50 base power and it doubles for every death. So in theory, it is a 600 base power move if there is the last mon standing. Which is interesting to say the least. Shielding Water is a new special base water move with 50 base power that lowers attack. So not the most impressive skull replacement. And Grassy Glide is nerfed going from 70 base power to 60 base power. And here is the major changes for Pokemon for Generation 1. Wiggletuff gets Nasty Plot. Goldax gets Nasty Plot and Power Gem. Arcanine, the, the Hishuan form, will get Head Smash. And of course, you know, Rockhead is now his new ability. Slowbro will lose Teleport and Scald. Muck and Alolan Muck will learn Drain Punch. And Regular Muck will learn Toxic Spikes. Gengar loses Sludge Wave, but gets Toxic Spikes. The Scyther will lose Dual Wing Beat and Bug Butt, but gets close combat instead. Jardos loses power whip, which I don't believe is a big deal. All evolution will, no matter well what their evolution, uh, will get Calm Mind and Trailblaze. Trailblaze is great for Flareon and definitely will buff it somewhat. Having a grass move that is physical that boosts its speed, combined with guts, you got a pretty nasty potential sweeper. Vaporeon will lose Toxic and Scald, Flareon will lose Superpower, which it's maybe a big deal, but I think Trail is cover that. Um, the Galarian Bird Trio will get Tailwind, but the regular <laughs> Articuno Zapdos Moltres will lose Defog. Dragonite will lose Defog, Dual Wing Beat, and Hill Bell. Mew will actually lose Knockoff, Roost, Defog, Toxic, Teleport, and Roar. I'm just gonna have that said. It loses those moves. It's supposed to be the move that the mod against everything. And here we are. It actually loses stuff. And Mewtwo will get Earth Power and Power Gem. For Generation 2, we have Hidden um, Typhlosion, the um, Hishuan Form, the Interruption, and Focus Blast, and we'll now have Hidden Power, or Hidden Ability of Frisk in the power, instead of Flash Fire. Avros gets Dazzle and Leam, Sudowood gets Railblaze and Spikes, Quagsar will get Stealth Rocks and Spikes, and Toxic Spikes, which is awesome, but it will lose Scald. Espeon finally learns Power Gem. Umbreon will get Thunder Wave, but it'll lose Toxic. Scissor will know close combat, but loses Roost, 
dual wing beads and bug bites. This means that Sister in theory is out of recovery options, which will be interesting to say the least. Fortress, which is new to this generation for real, will get body press, which will be excellent on it. Blissey will lose Toxic, Wish, and Teleport. And Tyranitar will get Power Gym, but it will lose High Horsepower and Superpower. But for Generation 3 is where it all heads off. Like, this is, this is just great. Uh, Pelipper unfortunately loses Defog and Skull, which I think is awful for it. God of War will keep Aura Sphere from Pokemon Legends Osseus, um, but will lose Ally Switch, Recover, Ice Beam, and Gilead will also, in theory, then lose Ally Switch. So Gilead, I mean, God of War has a buff in Aura Sphere. Damn shame it didn't get the accessibility of Recover. I think that would have been so nice on it. Breloom, which is a new program for this generation or missed out on generation 8 in theory, will get close combat and gunk shot. Hiriyama gets Strain Punch and Headlong Rush, which is fine. Sableye gets Heat Rain, sure. Medisham will get Ice Kick, close combat and Trailblaze. Medisham and Trailblaze is probably a combination I definitely have been dreaming of. That's a scary, finally been able to boost its speed. Grumpy got a huge buff. It got Nasty Plot from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but will also get Dazzling Gleam and Earth Power, so it can now properly deal with Steel types. It's gonna be a great bond, I think. But then we got the other big buff, and that is Swallowed gets a new ability, it's Stuffed Cheeks, which means it can use its berries twice instead, which is phenomenal. Um, or, you, you know, get recovery once you, you know, pop your berry, but it will also get Soul Stance and Toxic Spikes. And considering that Swallowed has a really broad move pool of elemental punches and earthquake, it Swallowed stats could be extremely viable on it. Sangos gets Build Drum and Agility. I do remember getting Build Drum before, but I guess now it's a big deal that actually gets it. Uh, Bayonet gets Soul Stance, which could be usable. Tropius gets Hurricane and U-Turn. I like it. I, I, I hate that Tropius is still bad, but hey, he gets stabbed that actually hurts. That could actually work for it. Ground out will lose heat crash but gain crunch spikes will away some body press. That's gonna be awful. I hate ground out, it's gonna be better than ever. A request that for some reason gets U turn and stealth rocks and wild shards but will lose V create. Requesa was strong enough already. Like, are we. Ah, Jesus. Generation 9 with a few really, really interesting changes. Luxray will get Trailblaze, which is great, much like Flareon, but will lose superpower. It might be worse for it though. Vespi Queen gets spikes. I don't know. Flubs gets wave crash and ice spinner. Gastrodon will lose skull, but will get and toxic, but will get self rock spikes and shielding water. Gastrodon just as viable as ever, really, isn't it? Drift Blim will lose mystical fire, but will get air slash. Guard Chomp for some reason will get spikes and liquidation, but will lose skill shot. Losing skill shot is huge though. That really was pressing card champ for Uber, so ah, shame. Um, Touch Girl will actually keep its close combat from Pokemon Legends Osseus, so that's kinda cool. Meanwhile, will lose Triple Axel and Knock Off, but gets Ice Spinner. It is a nerf, but Meanwhile's viability is still just as good. I don't believe it affects it that much, but damn, losing Knock Off is huge. Delayed, as we already talked about, will get a new ability in sharpness. It will also lose or get a new. Um, um, they, it will learn Sacred Sword and um, that uh, Aqua Cutter move and also learn Agility. So, Gilead got a major buff. It is whether or not it's a buff enough for the Mon to be viable, but still, it's a buff nonetheless. Yuxa, Aesop and Mesprit will get a new city move in Mystical Power, which is an 80 base power special move that will always boost your special attack. Dialga will now learn Trick and Focus Blast. Palkia will learn Trick. Sure. Heatra gets Power Gem, but will lose Toxic and its uh, um, Contest move in Eruption, which is definitely unfortunate. Chris got uh, or nerfed, loses a bit of defenses. And Arceus, for some reason, now learns Healing Wish, Higher Pump, Torrent, Imprison, Bull Cup, Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz, Power Gem, Gumshot, Heavy Slam, Foul Play, Store Power, Hex, Hurricane, Body Press, but lost Whirlpool. What a loss. Yen 5 has a few really interesting changes. Samurai, of course, got Sharpness 2, which will replace its shell armor, and it always has Razor Shell and whatnot, so it, it will be extremely viable, I'm sure. Uh, regular Samurai gets Drill Run, which could be very viable for it. 
Hichuan Hill Lily Dance, Victory Dance is now physical of Quiver Dance. Uh, it also gets Ice Spinner and Defog, so it's in theory it is now replacing Zarina in many ways. Basculin will also get Wave Crash. Crocodile will lose high power and knockoff, but gains Gun Shot. Yeah, Croc got nerfed badly. Hichuan Zorog actually got its special attack and speed nerfed, which is quite fine anyway. It still is in theory better. Zorspark now gets Body Slam and Headbutt and Play Rough. Um, which is great. Oloma Mola got nerfed to lose his skull. I really think Oloma Mola will be fine anyway because it actually kept toxic. So, mm. Electros gets Stomp in Tantrum, Liquidation, and Close Combat, but lost Close or Knockoff. Hexerus now learns Iron Head. Better than Poison Jab, so get that. Bear Tick, Major Buff, gets Earthquake and Close Combat. It is now a very viable Slush Rusher or Rain Sweeper. So, yeah, love that. Bisharp lost Knockoff. Big deal. Uh, Hichuan Braviary will replace, of course, Divine with Tinted Lens, and its signature move, Esper Wing, will now increase its speed. Hydreigon, for some reason, will lose Roost and Defog, but will, for some reason, learn Stealth Rocks. Volcarona will lose Roost and Defog. Uh, it's not a big deal, as it's still a Morning Sun, but actually lost a m major recovery in it. Now, the reason you use Roost was because Morning Sun has less PP. Now that they are the same, might as well keep, you know, decide for one of them. Um, and the force of nature, all of them loses defog, toxic, and knockoff, while Landorus will now have nasty plot. Yikes. So Generation 6 had a few really, really good both buffs and nerfs. Chestnut for now will learn close combat, body press, super fang, and Y-Guard. Chestnut were gonna be great. I mean, the body press combination alone is gonna keep it to be very viable. So I'm looking forward for that. Delphox now knows Focus Blast and Nasty Plot. Delphox is going to be awesome. It's, it already was awesome. Definitely one of my favorite mods. And seeing it come better. Yeah. <laughs> totally down with that. Greninja now learns Sword Sense Liquidation. Which is great for it. Even though Protein Liberia is nerfed. Um, to only be changing type in once per switching. I still think Greninja is just as viable as ever. Talonflame loses its defog. Sylveon will lose its mystical fire. Major nerf on Sylveon. And I think it's gonna damage that Pokemon quite a lot. Um, Hichuan Gudra will now learn Shelter. And the Shelter is basically an artifact. Combine it with Body Press, yeah. Hichuan Gudra is gonna be just about, it's gonna be great. Cobbing, now, <laughs> and I know Spikes. Both Avalugs will now learn Icicle Crash. And Diancy, for some reason, will now know Spikes. The Pokemon for Gen 7 really didn't have that big of a change, it's were mostly nerfs actually. Though Hishwin, the ZJ will now know Defog, Ruse, Close Combat, Trailblaze, Knockoff, Sucker Punch, and Shadow Sneak, Triple Arrow, which is now a knight base power instead of AD, and it will get Scrappy as its new hero ability. Yeah, it, it all of a sudden became a lot more scarier. Oricorio got Quiver Dance, now it actually is a setup mod with a really strong type, in, and probably our first Quiver Dancer isn't a bug type. I think that's gonna be a big deal. Combined that with Roost, and we got a very, very dangerous Pokemon ahead of us. And of course, the Heavy Duty Boots. Cannot forget about those. Toxapex now loses Knockoff and Scald. Look, Toxapex is still incredible, dangerous, and hard mod to deal with, but any nerf on that mod helps. Lurantis loses its superpower, which is definitely unfortunate. It forces Lurantis to actually be a special attacker with uh, its. Um, ability to boost itself, um, the contrary ability, because now I can always spam Leaf Storm to boost itself, which I think is unfortunate. Celeste will get Toxic Spikes, that's great. Serena loses Triple Axel and Knockoff. Major nerf on a Pokemon that already, it wasn't necessarily all that great, or it was great because of its utilities, losing a bit of those utilities makes Serena less desirable, unfortunately. I think it's still good, but damn it, didn't need it. Palisand loses Gorgian Sand, I don't think it affected all that much. Uh, Kumala lost last resort, which is unfortunate. Bruxish will now learn Wave Crash, and Magirna, for some reason, gets Spikes. And now to Generation 8, and I want to start off with saying I didn't believe the mods from Generation 8 were all that busted, yet they got a lot of nerves. Rillaboom loses Grassy Glide, High Horse Powers, and Super Power. I mean, it went from S-tier to probably 
Not at all. That's that's a major deep buff on this guy. Or I mean, nerf. Damn, poor poor Rilla Boom. Cinderace gets Soul Stance, um, and it's going to be great on it. It's just if if it remains in the tier, Cinderace is going to be incredible. Dreadnought now gets Shell Smash automatically. It will replace, in my book at least, Blastoise. Dreadnought is a vastly superior Pokemon, and with Shell Smash, it is now a scary mon. Uh, Colossal will get Power Gem, but loses Skull. I think that's fine. Barascuta loses Flip Turn. Definitely a nerf on that guy. Tactricity will now learn Toxic Spikes. Hatterini will now lose his Manning Force. Grimstone got Parting Shard. Of all the mods that got buffed, why? <laughs> <laughs> Berserker gets Stealth Rocks. I think that's going to be great. It leaves Berserker with Agilities, and it definitely needed it. It was only a physical attacker at best, and now it actually can do both. Indeed, major nerf, losing Hispanic Force and Mystical Fire. In Fury, there is no reason of using them anymore because of that. Uh, Indeed, just no. It went from just maybe as good as Tabu Lele to just not, not even be close. Uh, session 7 center both got nerfed with attack stats, that's just about it. Eternatus will now learn Fire Blast, okay. Your Sheep <laughs> will get Soul Stats, but Wicked Blow is weakened from 80 base power to 75. Saru will now know both Trailblaze and Soul Stance. Don't think it's a big of a change on it, to be honest. Saru was very viable as is. Ridge Draco will now learn Earthquake and Earth Power. Yeah, Ridge Draco will now be useful, so that's, that's incredible. Glaster and Calyrex Eyes. I both loses their high horsepower and still the earthquake and glaze glass is weak to from 130 to 120. Spectre Air now gets raining kiss, you know, the, the boosts or the, the, like they nerfed the, the worst of them and then they boost the, the stronger of them. I'm, I'm, I don't get it. Cleaver's Stone Axe who now lays automatically self rocks and gets close combat um, with side of user and also will learn not U-turn, Night Slash, Psycho Cut and with the ability to sharpen um, and it also took five pawns for his special defense. <laughs> so, but overall, Cleaver will be an incredible rock type. Now it is hidden, or it synergy move is not only boosted by um, its new ability, the sharpness ability, but it will also set up self force automatically. That's an incredible, powerful move. And combine that with a lot of utilities and U turn, it's gonna be great. Uh, Ursula Luna now will learn Close Combat, Gunshot, Play Rough, Crunch, Taunt, Polka, Sosa, Builder Drum, and Drain Punch. Yikes. Basque Legion will lose his Rattle, but will get Swiss Swim instead, and it also gets the last Respect move. Sneezler will now have Unburden, and will learn Soul Stance, Acrobatic, Rock Slap, Fire Punch, Fake Out, U Turn, and Gunshot. Overquill will now learn Crunch, Gunshot, Aqua Jet, Liquidation, Soul Stance, Waterfall, Taunt, Spikes, Soxy Spikes. And Enormous, which is the um, fourth genie, will now learn Superpower and Focus Blast. So yeah, a lot of things to cover, a lot of things to think about going into the next generation. That said, there are a few of these mods that are locked behind um, the Pokemon Home, which will come out later as this game you know, progress so far, about three, four months from here. But these are big changes for mods in this game. So with that said, what do you think about the changes? And which one are looking forward to and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video until then as always take care bye